Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's about 9 a.m. Hello, Boo. And I'm just about to leave for my day. And I realized I don't think I filmed anything this morning. So let's see what the cats are doing. Boo's laying on top of the cat tower. He loves the cat tower because he feels very safe on top of the cat tower. Right, Boo? And the cats all had breakfast this morning. And all of the water bowls were filled up with fresh water. And all of the litter boxes were scooped. Um, I did not see Boo use the litter box this morning because I've been busy trying to get some stuff done. Boo, did you make a poop? Did you use the litter today? Boo, did you use a litter box today? Boo says, don't talk about that kind of stuff. It makes him embarrassed. Here's Simba. Simba has a front nose seat near the window, which is slightly open right now. He likes to smell the breeze because he can smell which animals are nearby in the woods. Right, Simba? And here's Stella. Stella likes to watch all the neighbors walk by. She likes to know what's going on in the neighborhood. Right, Stella? Stella knows she looks very pretty in the window. And here's Splash. Splash likes to relax here on top of the sofa because it's very comfortable, right, Splash? He's a little bit nervous right now, but it's very good that he hasn't run because I have no zoom on this camera. I'm just holding my arm out. And the camera is a little more than a foot away from him. How you doing, Splash? Did you have a nice day so far? Did you like your breakfast? Splash eats his breakfast so fast. Did you drink any of the fresh water I put out for you? What are your plans for the day, Splash? You have any big plans today? You figure you're gonna go into Boo's room and look out the window for a while. Then you might sleep under the bed for a little bit. Then you're gonna go downstairs and sleep in the cat bed because it's comfortable. Those are your plans. Oh, and you're gonna chase your brother. I should mention that Splash and Simba we're chasing each other around the house this morning like they have not done in quite a while. Um, they're making all kinds of racket. It woke me up a few times and a few times they crashed a few things because I was like, uh oh, what fell? But it did not sound like anything like broke or shattered. But um, yeah, they were having like races. It's 7.28 p.m. I was just outside looking for Hydrox a few minutes ago and I did not see him anywhere. So I just put his food in the refrigerator and he's getting raw food. But look who it is, it's Ditto. Hey Ditto. So I'm gonna put together some canned food for Ditto and uh, yeah, I'm gonna give Ditto some canned food. 
I'm pretty sure this is ditto. I just gave ditto half of a can of Trader Joe's. I think it's the turkey and giblets. And there he is, he's not too far. Go eat it. I'm pretty sure that's ditto. It might not be, but it looks like it is. Okay, I just came inside and they went right to the plate, so that's good. I think it's ditto because of what happened yesterday and um, it looks like ditto. Like I'm 90% sure it's ditto. It's hard to see because it's dark out. I'm sitting here on the living room floor editing a video and Boo was here and Splash was there and Splash was like taunting Boo and um, the two of them I thought maybe they were playing and they were kind of like going back and forth at each other and there's like a little bit of chasing each other around and then what happened was that Boo was sitting here but he was like facing that way and Splash was over in the hallway and the next thing I know Boo just went at Splash like he just like went at him and then Splash started screaming and um, I started yelling to break it up and then I guess Splash ran downstairs and Boo's hanging out here right now and Stella was relaxing on the bed but she just came out to see what was going on it's 8 26 p.m. I'm bringing Hydrox food so Hydrox is getting two scoops of the homemade raw food and one of Stella and Chewy's rabbit patties all mixed together with some chicken broth and there's Hydrox he went straight for the food he should eat it hopefully whatever he does not eat I'm sure some other critter will eat I hate how it's so dark already it's like you know 8 30 and just like a month ago, it was still light out. Now it's getting darker earlier and earlier and earlier. And before we know it, the days are gonna be shorter than the nights again. You know, we're just about upon the autumnal equinox. Summer's my favorite time of year and it's always so sad when summer's over. It looks like Hydrox is enjoying his food. It's 8.39 p.m. I'm sitting here editing a video and look who's laying near me. It's Splash. He's only laying a foot away from the laptop. I think Splash really likes it when I sit on the floor with the cats. Right, Splash? How you doing, Splashy? Smell the camera, Splash. Smell it. You have such a pretty nose. Splash, do you know how handsome you are? Splash, do you know you're a very handsome boy? It's about 10.45 p.m. right now, and the cats are getting a treat tonight. So, I was in the kitchen a little while ago, and Boo was sitting there, and he started coughing. He's, he was making, like, the hairball cough, and um, along with the cough, you know, it looked like he was potentially going to come up with the hairball. So what I just gave them was some homemade baby food with some salmon oil mixed in because if he has a hairball, the salmon oil could be good to dislodge it or to pass it through him um, and they would not eat it as is. So I then put some crunchies on it 
Boo also just got some herbs. He's still on the kidney and bladder herbs. So this is what the cats did. This is so weird. They ate all the uh, the baby food with the salmon oil, and they're leaving their crunchies. Well, Stella ate her crunchies, but Splash left his crunchies, and Simba left his crunchies. Maybe they're going to go back. It's 7.19 a.m., and Boo was just using this litter box that I keep in my room. Um, it's been in here for a while. The reason why I keep it here is in case a cat gets shut in the room, then they have a place to relieve themselves. Now, no one ever uses this litter box. It's just always sat here empty. I mean, it's been here probably over a year. It's just always been empty. I mean, it's full of litter, but no one ever uses it. Except Boo started using it when he started having his uh, urinary issues the other day. And this was one of the litter boxes he was using. He was using every litter box in the house. And um, so that's like how I knew something was wrong. So this morning I heard a cat drinking a lot of water. I also keep a water bowl here. And uh, I assumed it was Boo. I did not open my eyes to see, but I assumed it was him. And I just saw him climb into this litter box to use it. So now I have to check. I have to see, okay, well, how much did he use it? And hopefully he's still like going normal. So he went right here. Boo likes to go like right in front of the door. So and this is the little scoop that comes with it. I always go back with the bigger scoop. But right now I just want to see like the size and okay. Yeah, it's a substantial. This is like big, so that is a substantial pea clump. I'm going to finish getting ready for my day and I'm going to come back and scoop that. Boo is laying in the hallway on this rug and you see the bump in the rug? He was using it as a pillow. It was so cute. It was, he's just sitting there using that bump in the rug as a pillow. And, of course, when I turn the camera on, he has to move. It's about 8 a.m. right now. I have no idea what's going on, but there's another, another helicopter in the sky. Maybe it's a traffic reporter? I don't know. I'll have to look. I don't know what they're doing. I found out that a vehicle was struck by a train um, not too far away and that is causing all kinds of disruptions and that yeah there's like a, a lot of traffic and stuff but i have to say that lately over the past several months i've noticed that people don't know not to stop their cars on train tracks um so for example if you're stopped at a red light don't stop your car on top of train tracks because if the uh, train starts coming through the tracks and then, um, I don't know what you call them, but like the warning lights go on and then those, um, the rails come down, like your car's going to be like potentially stuck there or smashed. And I mean, you could get killed that way. Um, and I always thought that was common sense. I mean, you should people should just know not to do that but i've noticed recently that people are doing it and it's just really odd like i'll be like stopped on the road again maybe for a red light or something and people in front of me will just be stopped right on the train tracks um it's really dangerous to do so the fact that a vehicle was just struck by a train does not surprise me in the slightest at all like I've been expecting something like that to happen literally for like the past month or two it's when I've really been noticing it happening a lot and I don't know I thought that was just basic basic training when it came to uh, learning how to drive a car and kind of common sense um, at the same time. I mean, why are you in such a rush that you can't stop your car before the train tracks that you have to stop your car 
on the train tracks like while you're waiting at a red light are you going to get to your destination sooner by doing that no so um yeah like it's crazy today for breakfast the cats are getting a scoop of homemade raw food and they're actually getting a scoop of baby food mixed in and when i say baby food i mean the homemade um let's just call it like a chicken pate um, with a bunch of chicken broth mixed in and a few crunchies on top and Splash and Stella are eating here and for some reason Simba wanted to eat here and Boo wants to eat on the step I don't know why and he would not touch his food until I put some of the crunchy dust on it like crunchy sprinkles so even though I put some crunchies on his food he still did not want to eat it without the crunchy sprinkles now there's also no baby food on top of it, like he doesn't have a liquid topping. So maybe that's why he didn't want to eat it, I don't know, but he should like the food. And he did have some of the baby food um, a few minutes ago with his herbs. So he got three drops of kidney and bladder herbs as an appetizer on a little, a few bites of the homemade baby food. So um, that's the situation. I think the cats are a little, you know, um, put off by all this helicopter noise. I don't know if you could hear it, but it's still really, really loud upstairs. Now it sounds like there are two helicopters. And Simba says they're like sky bugs. Simba says they look like giant bugs in the sky. And here's Hydrox. Hydrox showed up. I'm gonna give him some breakfast, but he's not very happy with all this noise. I just came inside and now he's walking to the side of the patio. He's like, okay, give me some food. I just gave Hydrox three scoops of homemade raw food with chicken broth mixed in. And I went outside and it sounds like there's even more um, aircraft activity. So hopefully Hydrox will eat his food. Here he comes. Hopefully he'll eat that, and if he doesn't eat it, I'm sure Ditto and someone else will come by, but... It is almost 9 p.m. And I wanted to play with the cats for a little bit. So I took out the wand toys, and um, the cats don't really want to play. <laughs> the cats want crunchies. When the cats are in the mood to eat, like when they think a meal is coming, they don't want to play. Like right now, Boo's holding the toy. And the other ones are just waiting. What happened, Stella? Did Splash annoy you? So the cats ate dinner couple hours ago and uh, they've all been hanging out relaxing and uh, Splash and Simba were chasing each other around the house and Boo's hanging out with me and when uh, Splash and Simba came running through the room, it kind of freaked Boo out a little bit and he got really mad at Splash, like really mad. And then Boo got into this fighting posture that I have not seen him in in a very long time. Like it was a serious fighting posture. I almost didn't even recognize Boo. 
um, and then Splash was just like, um, you know, frozen in defense. The two ha were having a standoff. So then I had to kind of, I had to start petting Boo and then Splash made a getaway and we avoided any kind of fight or confrontation. But in situations like that, it's like, well, I'm glad I'm here because if the cats were home alone, who knows what would happen, right? Right, Boo? It's about 6.30 a.m. And Boo has been drinking water. Good boy, Boo. I keep this tray with the water bowl on the floor in my bedroom because a while ago I realized that the cats love drinking water at this location. I don't know why. Um, I think I originally put water in here when Simba had a limp. So there were times when Simba was kept by himself in this room um, because he was trying to heal. He was trying to heal a limp. He had a limp in one of his hind legs, and so I put the water bowl in the room. And I noticed, I noticed that the cats love drinking out of it, especially in the morning. Um, they would wake me up when they were drinking from it because I would hear them like lapping up the water and I also noticed that Boo had stopped doing that for a while and then we ran into you know the issue where he had to go to the animal hospital because you know he was urinating too frequently uh, but now he's back to drinking his morning water which is great so that'll help keep him hydrated and uh, healthy and good boy Boo it's about 7.45 a.m. And the cats are all eating their breakfast. They're getting homemade raw food with water mixed in and a few crunchies on top. For Boo, I have to strategically place the crunchies so he'll pretty much eat everything on his plate. And I have to push them into the food so he has to kind of dig them out and eat around them. But the other cats, I can, you know, be a little more casual with how I just put the toppings on their food. They just plow through the food. So this is how Boo ate his food. Notice how he dug out all the crunchies. He's getting smarter. He's learning how to, uh, you know, leave more food on the plate. Right now he's in the litter box. Now, he just used the litter box in his bedroom, um, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, and I scooped it out, and it was a normal-sized pea clump. Right now, he's going to make a poop. I had to pick up Boo's food so Stella doesn't eat it, so Boo just made, like, a really big poop. And what I've noticed is that, you know, when the cats are going to use the litter box to make a poop, they will dig it more frantically than when they're just going to pee like they'll dig deeper and um just with more intensity than when they're going to pee and boo does this thing when he squats he lifts up one of his front paws i think it's usually his front left paw and he'll like he'll lift it up when he squats and then he puts it down it's so funny um but at least he seems to be back to normal and I have been observing him pretty much all week, making sure that, you know, he's continuing to exhibit normal behavior. And um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give him his food back and I'll put a few more strategically placed crunchies on it so he finishes his meal. Hello, Simba. How are you? It's 5.23 p.m. right now. And the cats are all hanging out. I'm trying to uh, export a video. And my computer is really not strong enough to do it. So it's taking forever. And Simba's hanging out here by the window. 
And Stella just jumped into my lap as I'm filming Simba. Hello, Stella. Stella was sleeping in the cat bed. She was sleeping on top of the cardboard cat bed. But when I put the camera on and I was looking at Simba, then Stella said, no, look at me. Okay, Stella, you're so pretty. You're such a pretty girl, Stella. You wanna sit down here? Okay, we're gonna look at you. What would you like to tell me, Stella? Do you have a message for your friends? Stella, do you have a message for your friends? Stella says she had a lot of good naps today, right? She had a lot of good naps today. And she said she likes it that the weather's getting cooler out. And what else would you like to say, Stella? She says she can't wait until dinner time. Okay, that'll be another hour or two, okay, Stella? Okay, now Stella, since you're here with me right now, let me tell you something. So tomorrow, I'm going away on an overnight trip, okay? So you, Splash, and Simba are all going to stay downstairs this weekend, okay? Because Boo cannot be stressed out okay so we know last weekend what happened last weekend I had to take boo to the hospital because he was having some problems right Stella and then I had to be on observation all day all weekend to make sure he was feeling better this weekend I am going away for an overnight trip okay so that means you're going to eat out of the automatic feeder and you're going to make sure all the cats get along and Simba's going to make sure there's no bugs in the house and Splash is going to make sure no one ruins the furniture and Boo's going to keep a lookout to make sure there's no strange animals or no strange anybody in the yard, right? Okay, so you guys will hang out downstairs and you'll get plenty of relaxation, right? Okay? Okay. So now you know. And I'm getting up very early tomorrow, right? So that means I'm going to go to sleep early and I'm going to get up very early. Okay? Okay, you're going to help me set everything up? You're going to help me get everything set up? Right now I have uh, security cameras charging. Um, and I'm going to start loading the car soon. And I'm also going to program all of the inside automatic feeders. I like to do that the day before. Saves time. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, yeah, everything's good today and tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll see you, Stella. It is 6.46 p.m. and I was just outside loading up the car and I happened to look over at the window and I saw this. Look at this. Look what somebody did to the blinds. Look. Look, do you see what they did? I blame Simba. I think he was jumping up here looking for a bug and he kind of bent the blinds. Hopefully they're only bent and they could be straightened back up and not broken. And okay, that, that looks a million times better already. I'm so thankful I just noticed that. I don't know how long it's been like that, but oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. That looks horrible. And even right now, 
Even right now, this one blind doesn't look very good. I'm gonna have to play around with it and straighten it out, but oh my gosh. It's about 9.30 p.m. right now, and this is what's going on. All the cats are hanging out here waiting for crunchies. It's about 10.45 p.m. right now, and I just looked out the window and I was like, what's going on with these headlights? So there's a car outside, and they're shining their headlights on the deer. Um, there's one deer grazing here, and there's another deer kind of in the woods. And this car is just sitting in the middle of the road watching the deer. And I'm hoping it does not do anything like bad to the deer. But you know, with people, you never know. See the other deer in the woods? So I figured I'd get my camera and just turn the camera on. And the car just drove off, which is good. I guess I don't realize that a lot of people don't see like wildlife on a daily basis. People don't see deer on a daily basis. So um, when they do, they might, you know, just like to watch. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.